Replacement of the wheel or uh, brake inside of the hangar is quite easy. You have more or less all equipment around, like uh, jacks, we have many of them. And for each type of airplane in the fleet, we have uh, such a trolley, inside of which you can find all protectors, uh, all um, tools, which you need for it. Uh, basically, all what's remaining, what you need to order is the wheel and consumable. But what if we need to replace the wheel on the apron or the brake? Uh, in every company it's a bit different. So in today's video I'll show you uh, where we store all our equipment, where we store wheels and how easy or how hard it is to replace wheel in our company. So let's take a look at it. I moved to the apron and if you work in aviation, uh, you most probably know that time is very valuable and we always try to avoid uh, delays. And uh, wheel change can be very time consuming if you don't have everything in one place. We know this in Austrian Airlines and that's why we have those huge trailers which you can see behind me. We have one of those for each airplane in our fleet so behind me you can see 78 there is a 777 Embraer 195 321 320 uh, on my spot where I am there should be a trailer for 767 but that one is most probably somewhere uh, on the apron that's why we have them right what is inside those trailers are our store and tool store on the wheels let me show you this one is for 787. Uh, in the front, you can see two nitrogen bottles uh, because uh, without nitrogen, you can't feel uh, the tire, right? Next to the nitrogen bottles, we have a reductor through which basically you can choose if you want to use uh, high pressure or low pressure. So we can use also high pressure from this car, but it is mainly used only for feeling of the tires. Uh, so you adjust your pressure inside I'll show you you can find a pistol with a gauge and proper hose for the airplane on which you're gonna work and then yeah let's take a look inside whole trailer is made uh, the way that single person can operate it uh, and what you can find inside here you can see a lifter for the wheel and if you use that platform you can use it for replacement of the brake you just place it on the top you remove the brake with it move it out change the brake put a new brake on it install it on the axle then we have two main wheels inside two nose wheels uh, jacks but they, I'll show you from the back and then we have uh, two big cases for replacement of the wheels wheel and brake so whatever you need for uh, wheel and brake you can find in those those two big boxes let's move to the back secure it of course so nobody will gonna get hurt safety first and now from the back And here you can see how it looks from the behind. Everything is secured, everything is locked. You cannot lift it, you cannot, the, the wheel cannot roll out without removing the, of the safety. So they're always properly secured. Here you have two jacks. Uh, and basically that's all what you can find in the trailers. But as you can see, we are completely ready to replace wheel on the line. If you need brake, of course, you need to order it. Okay, let's close this trailer. That was 787 trailer and you can find basically uh, similar equipment in each and every of those, but uh, adjust to needs of that exact airplane. Other than that, for wheel inflation, we have those two carts over there that's only for the nitrogen you can find you can find there a pistol gauge and everything what you need to inflate the tires so that's another thing which we can use now we're gonna hook up 321 trailer and we'll go to replace wheel with it so let's go we have already 
a lifter outside. And we have a jack. And everything is secured also in this trailer. This, for example, no jack, it has a dedicated place, so it will not move around. Uh, here you can see place where we have a main jack, and thanks to this support, this secured on the place. Nose wheels are secured with a chain, and the main wheels are protected thanks to this guard, which you can lift only when you move this safety, and then you can roll the wheel out. Two wheels, always, two main, two nose, and more or less all the tools which we're gonna need. Here we have a first case and what you can find inside. As I said before, here is a pistol with a gauge for inflation. Then we have here tire pressure gauge and basically you can use it either for uh, Airbus, for which you need of course this uh, bigger end. You just turn it, yeah, then it is for Airbus. When you turn it around again, you can use it for Boeing or for Embraer and uh, two torque wrenches, one small one and one uh, with a bigger values and extension lever. So that's the first case. Here we have a second case in which you can find a tool for losing the main nut. Uh, this is protector for the axle to don't destroy actually the thread of the axle. Uh, here you can find protector for nose uh, axle and uh, key or the tool for losing of the nose wheel uh, of course brake bar uh, here you have uh, a socket for brake fan and step down to use it for the adapters those are the cases and then we have an extra hose for inflation of the tire and uh, this hose this hose we can plug to a uh, big jack and we can use the pressure from the wheel to uh, lift the airplane. And thanks to this hose, it reduced the time for lifting the airplane. And yeah, we, you don't need to pump it all the way. So let's start with the inflation. You guys are already preparing for removal. Safety first, as always. So we have a landing gear sleeve on the place. And we'll start with the lift wing of the axle. And as I said before, these trailers are made that single person can replace the wheel, but since we had the time, we drive out to help our colleague. And as you can see this way, the process is really, really fast. And by the way, this video is made out of several wheel replacements because I'm not able to always be everywhere. But I guess you already realized okay. that. Okay, wheel is inflated to require pressure. <laughs> so we can start setting it Closing everything. One by one. Safety first. And since the main wheel nut is already torque, we can start to lowering the airplane. And if you want to see full replacement, uh, I made separate video and link to it is in top right corner or in the description below. So we are finishing up. Uh, Dominic is installing the cover. Basically everything is packed back in. There is the old wheel. We need to uh, exchange it with the new one. So the next person who gonna take this trolley, we're gonna have everything set. Some final touches. Yeah, the tapping on the clamp, the cover. Yeah, we're almost done. Gear pins are out, so we are almost good to go. Now back to the parking spot from where I get uh, uh, the trailer. And I need to swap uh, the old wheel, which I have inside of the trailer, with the new wheel. As I said, it needs to be prepared for the next uh, colleague, or maybe even me. You never know when you will get your next wheel.
to park the old one in our line US store. Yes, of course, it needs to be properly marked that it is US. And we'll now pick up new wheel from over there. Let's push it backwards to correct parking spot and that's it. Okay, that's all about today's topic. Please let me know how it looks in your company, what kind of equipment you have there and if you have also some kind of uh, trolleys like this, I would like to know how it works in the other places. All what's remaining is to say thank you for your time that you watch my videos. Big thanks to Austrian Airlines that they let me to record all this so you can see how we perform maintenance on the airplanes. Uh, that's all from my side. My name is Tomáš, this was Airka Maintenance with Zeto and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.